Hi friends, once again welcome to my YouTube channel Future Midwife. Today's our topic is Mechanism of Labor in Breach Presentation. This video will be useful for the fourth year nursing students. Still I remember when I was there in the fourth year, I got the breach mechanism in my practical examination. So those who are watching in this video, especially the nursing students, you will be in my position when you get the practical examination. So don't skip it. Please watch the video from the beginning till the end. It will be definitely useful for your practical examination. So without wasting time, we can move on our today's topic, mechanism of labor in breach presentation. In case of breach presentation, we have a six positions. The first one is left sacro anterior, second one is right sacro anterior, third one is right sacro posterior, fourth one is left sacro posterior, Next is left and right sacro transverse, that is lateral. Last one is direct sacro anterior and posterior. These are the six positions we can expect when it is there in the bridge presentation. When we discuss about the mechanism of labor, it's divided into three. First one, delivery of the bridge, which include buttocks and lower limbs. Next one, delivery of the shoulder and arms and the last one, delivery of the head. These three mechanisms has been completed, then only we can set the breach mechanism has completed. In case of delivery of the lower limbs and buttocks, there are few series of moments will be taking place. These are engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation and birth of the buttocks. Once these all moments finish, then only we can say the delivery of the buttocks and lower limb has been taken place. Here in case of delivery of the buttocks, the engaging diameter is the bitochondric diameter which is 10 cm which enters the pelvis in one of the oblique direction. Then the anterior buttocks makes the pelvic floor first, so it rotates 1 by 8 circle anteriorly. The anterior buttocks hinges below the symphysis pubis. And the posterior buttocks is delivered first by lateral flexion of the spine followed by the anterior buttocks. Then the external rotation occurs so that the sacrum comes anteriorly. Here in case of delivery of the shoulders and arm occurs by following few movements. The first one is engagement, then descent continues, internal rotation, birth of the shoulders and restitution. Here in case of delivery of the shoulders, the shoulders enter the same oblique diameter with the bisacromial diameter 12 cm between the acromial process of the scapula. Then the anterior shoulder meets the pelvic floor first, rotate 1 by 8 of the circle anteriorly, hinges under the symphysis pubis. Then the posterior shoulder is delivered first. The baby is then lowered and the anterior shoulders and arm pass out under the symphysis pubis. In case of delivery of the head, the following moments also will be taking place. These are engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation and birth of the head. Here in case of descent and engagement, the head enters the pelvis in the left oblique diameter and the occiput is in the right anterior quadrant of the pelvis. Then the flexion takes place. Here it is important that the flexion is maintained. Next will be the internal rotation. The head strikes the pelvic floor and rotate internally so that sagittal switches comes to lie in anterior posterior diameter. Here in case of birth of the head by flexion, the nape of the neck pivot under the symphysis and the chin, mouth, nose, forehead, brachma and occiput are borne over the perineum by the movement of flexion. Here we completed the full cardinal movements in breech mechanism. So for your better understanding, I would like to explain it with the help of a video. Please have a look on it. Here I am going to explain the mechanism of labor in breech presentation. Here the lie is longitudinal, buttex is in the lower pole of the uterus. Presentation is breech, attitude is complete flexion, 
Diameter is by trochanteric diameter that is 10 cm. Denominator is the sacrum. Here the position is left sacro anterior. So in the breech presentation there are six positions. The first one is right sacro posterior. Here the sacrum is pointing the right sacro iliac joint. In case of left sacro posterior, sacrum is pointing the left sacro iliac joint. In case of left sacro lateral, here sacrum is pointing to the left iliopectinal line. So, whereas in case of right sacro lateral, the sacrum is pointing to the right iliopectinal line. In case of left sacro anterior, sacrum is pointing to the left iliopectinal eminence. In case of right sacro anterior, sacrum is pointing to the right iliopectinal eminence. Here I am going to explain the position left sacro anterior. Now we will see the definition of labor mechanism. As the fetus descend, there is a series of movement takes place in order to expel the fetus from the birth canal is called mechanism of labor. Next we will see the principles of mechanism of labor. First one, descent takes place throughout the labor. Second one, whichever parts comes and touches the resistance of the pelvic floor will rotate forward. The third principle is Whatever part which comes under the symphysis pubis will pivot around the symphysis pubis. These are the three principles in mechanism of labor. Next we will see the cardinal movements of breech presentation. First one is engagement. Here the bitrochantric diameter that is 10 cm enter in the left oblique brim. Sacrum will be pointing towards the left iliopectinal eminence. Descent takes place with increasing compaction owing to increased flexion of limbs. Internal rotation of the buttocks. The anterior buttocks reaches the pelvic floor will rotate 1 by 8th of the circle along the right side of the pelvis and comes under the symbiosis pubis. Now the bitrochantric diameter is in anterior posterior diameter of the pelvis. Next one is the birth of the buttocks by lateral flexion. Here the anterior buttocks comes under the symphysis pubis. Posterior buttocks seeps the perineum and the buttocks is borne by lateral flexion. Next will be the restitution of the buttocks. That means, untwisting movement takes place in order to correct the twist which takes during the internal rotation of the buttocks. Next will be the internal rotation of the shoulder. Shoulder enters into the pelvic brim is in the left oblique diameter. Anterior shoulder rotate 1 by 8th of the circle along the right side of the pelvis. It comes under the symphysis pubis. At the same time, external rotation of the buttocks also takes place. Then the anterior shoulder comes under the symphysis pubis. Posterior shoulder seeps the perineum and shoulders are born. Next is the internal rotation of the head. Now the sagittal sutures are in the transverse diameter. Here head enters in the brim. It will rotate forward 1 by 8th of the circle. The suboccipital region comes under the symphysis pubis. Now the sagittal sutures in the anterior posterior diameter. At the same time, external rotation of the body will take place. So the back will be the uppermost part. Next, the birth of the head by flexion. Chin, face and sinciput seeps the perineum and head is born in a flexed attitude. This is the mechanism of labor in breech 
പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദ മെക്കാനിസം ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് അവർ സെക്ഷൻ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി വിൽ മീറ്റ് വിത്ത് അൻ അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് മിഡ് വൈഫറി ടോപ്പിക് ടിൽ ദാറ്റ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ ബൈ ബൈ